Everybody knows that little red log cabin right there by the marathon. It's a landmark in Sanford, and it's Penny Tyler's childhood home. It was in our family since I was three, so that'd be 55 years. But Penny had to leave the little red cabin behind when the Edenville and Sanford dams failed May 19th. She and her little dog Bugsy evacuated as flood water washed away her town, her home, her hope. Came back the next day, and it was, whoo. It was bad. Well, I knew that that house was gone. <laughs> yeah, because it looked like it looked like three lakes might have went right through my house. <laughs> I believe that's what happened. It's gutted, the water nearly reaching the ceiling. She lives in a camper on the property. All that's left are memories. This was mom and dad's bedroom, uh -huh. and us four kids was in that bedroom <laughs> as we grew up. It's now this and. Yeah, it's hard to look at. I just hope I can rebuild. Yeah, if you, Maybe I if can you, I, like I said, if I if I do, I'd like it to be red and white, just like Mom wanted it. But without a source of income for Penny, that was just a dream, a wish, a hope. And shortly after our interview, Penny met Dave Dennis with Great Lakes Homes, and Penny learned there is hope in Sanford. We are going to build you a brand new house from the ground up at no charge at all. Huh? Are you ready? Yep. And you'll be in before it gets too cold out. We can't have you living in a camper <laughs> with your neat little dog. Oh. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. The hope is, is here. Tears of joy, a new home, and community members say they'll provide furnishings. I am so, so happy, you guys. I'm so, so happy. Construction on the new home will start as soon as possible. Everything's set up. All that's left for Penny to do is pick the colors. Well, you better get ready to make some decisions on picking colors and things like that. I think oh. you already know, right? What color? <laughs> Red and Red. white. In Sanford, Scott Walchek, WNEM, TV5.